a very good morning to one and all myself professor chetan gupta csc department sirt the sage group bhopal today we will discuss about a subject that is computer network the subject code is cs602 and in today's lecture we will discuss about a topic that is a token bus the technical name of the token bus is the IEEE 802.4. Okay, moving on next slide. First, what is token bus? Basically, token bus is a popular standard for the token passing lands. In a token bus land, the physical medium is a bus or a tree and a logical ring is created using the coexible cable. That means if we want to discuss about the token bus, first we need to discuss why we use token bus. So uh, whenever a multiple host or a multiple user try to send the data at the same time, the problem is that there may be a chances of collision because whenever two or more station try to send that data at the same time, then collision may happen. And if the collision is happen, then our data is lost or data may be an inappropriate data. Whenever that data received by the receiver, then data may have damaged copy. So here we are going to discuss about a technique how we can avoid that collision means we want that if a station want to send the data so they will send the data one by one so what is the procedure behind that so another method is the token bus so basically token bus is a standard in which we have to passes the token in the logical ring basically if we want to create a token bus so what we do in a token bus, we will connect all the computer in the form of a logical ring that is, is created using the coexible cable. The token is passed from one user to another in a sequence in a clockwise direction or an anticlockwise direction. Each station know the address of the station to its left and right means each and every station knows the address to its neighbor node. So whenever a data is received by a particular station, if that is not a destination, then that token must be passed through the next node. Means the token is passes in that logical ring again and again until that data packet does not reach to its exact destination. In this, a station can transmit only uh, data when it has a token. The working of token bus is somewhat is similar to the concept of token ring. Here in this diagram, what we have seen that? We have seen that there are five different station. Station one, station two, station three, station four, and station five. And they are sending the data in anti-clockwise direction or we can also send the data in clockwise direction. So whenever any station want to transmit any data, what he did, what he need to did, he first claim a token. Whenever any station want to send a data, first it need to claim a token, means that token must be removed from that logical ring. And instead of that token, we will pass the data packet along that logical ring. We have clearly seen in the diagram that all the station are connected in the bus topology form. Means there is a backbone cable and all the station are connected with the help of drop line or with the help of connector. But we have also seen that all are connected in, a, in the form of logical ring. Means a token is passes from station one to station two, then station two to station four, then station four to station five, then station five to station three. So the concept behind is that whenever a, any station want to transmit the data, first it remove the token from the token ring. And what it can did, it put the data 
inside that logical ring and data is passes from one station to another station and data is moved from one station to another station again and again until it does not reach to the exact location whenever any data packet reach to it exact that destination what that station did it basically remove that data packet gather that data and generate a new token and again put that new token in the logical ring that means whenever any station want to send the data it claim a token and when any station receive the data so what it can remove it can remove that data packet and put the new token so the concept behind the token is that the station which have the token it can only that station can send the data in the token bus now if we talk about how we can understand the concept of that uh, uh, token bus so what uh, we have seen in the diagram basically this is orange line is basically a backbone cable or a backbone link in which all the station are connected with the help of drop cable and all these station are connected in the form of logical ring we have also seen there is a mention that the direction of token passing there are different kind of station that are connected to physically as a bus topology or in the bus form but logically they are connected in the ring form so what is token a token is a small message that circulates among the station of a computer providing permission to the station for the transmission if a station has the data to transmit when it receive a token it send the data and then passes the token to the next station this process is continue again and again otherwise it simply passes the token to the next station means if any station does not have a data to send it just passes the token and if that if the second station also do not have any data for sending then it again passes the token to the next station and if the third station want to send the data they have some data to send so what it can do it remove that token and instead of that token it put the data in that logical ring physically it is a token bus but logically it is a token ring basically this is a frame format of token bus there are different kind of blocks is there for example preamble start delimiter frame control destination address source address payload checksum and and delimiters uh, payload have a variable length and each uh, block have a, a different different size like preamble have one byte start delimiter have one byte and in the next slide we have discussed what are the important fields of that particular frame format of token bus first if we uh, want to understand what is preamble so basically it is a one byte field used for synchronization if we talk about start delimiter so it is also a one byte field that mark the beginning of the frame that is a start delimiter then the third one is a frame control it again one byte long that specify whether this is a data frame or a control frame so that field contain the frame control information the next one is the destination address basically destination address is 2 to 6 byte long and it basically specify the address of a destination means whenever we want to send any data packet to any destination we put the address in this destination address field the next field is the source address source address basically a 2 to 6 byte long that specify the address of source station source station means the uh, station that want to send the data to a particular destination so source address we can put the source address field and the destination address we can put into the destination address field the now the next field is the payload which is a variable length field that carried the data from the network layer means payload what it can what it can basically did it basically add the data that receive from the network layer the next field is checksum that is basically four byte long 
uh, in which a frame check sequence for error detection means checksum field why we insert that field basically it is used for error detection or any checking sequence now the last field is the and delimiter and delimiter is basically one byte long that makes the yeah or marks the end of a frame means start delimiter indicate the beginning of a frame and end delimiter indicate the ending of a frame and the different field like source address and destination address they contain the source address and the destination address that which one is a sending device which one is a receiving device payload basically contain the data and frame control uh, either contain the information uh, that is uh, that particular frame is a data frame or a control frame we have to go back in the slide so this is basically a frame format of a token bus so in today's lecture we will discuss about token bus and why we need to understand the token bus or why the existence of token bus is implemented because we do not want at any point of time our data packet will collide means if two or more station try to occupy the channel at a same time or try to send the data at a same time so there may be a chances that a particular station send the data and the another station also send the data so there may be a chances that the start of any data packet will collide with end of any data packet so in this particular situation the data packet will collide and the data of both the frame will be damaged or may contain some kind of error so to control this uh, multiple transmission at the same time we introduce the concept of this token bus in which all the station are connected in the form of logical ring and if any station want to send the data it basically claim the token put the data in the ring and that data passes from a station to another station and from that station to another station until it does not reach to its exact destination whenever the data packet is reached to its exact de destination what it that particular side did it removed that particular data packet and put a new token in the ring so that again we can give the chance to another computer to claim that new one token so this is the process so we can say that the concept of token bus uh, in which uh, computer are connected we can avoid the problem of that collision because if uh, the station does not have any token it does not send the data means if any station want to send the data so it first claim the token so in today's lecture we will discuss about how we can avoid the collision while sending the data so token bus is the concept so in our next lecture we will see the concept of a, a token ring which is also related with the token bus so thank you thank you so much